What is up, YouTube? This is Jim with JimLopez.com. In this video, I'm going to show you my exact workflow that I do to create SEO optimized articles that are not only helpful, but also rank. So without further ado, let's get started. But make sure to stay to the end because I got a lot of nuggets in this video. All right, let's get into it. Alrighty, so the first thing to find is uh, keywords that have low uh, high search volume with low competition. So I use a, a keyword tool called KW Finder. So right here, I just went ahead and put the keyword. I'm looking a uh, keyword related to healthy meal prep. I found one here, which is meal prep for picky eaters. It got a search volume of 1,100 a month, and it has a difficulty score of 21 which is not that hard so i'm gonna go ahead and grab this keyword here and i'm gonna head over to seo writing.ai seo writing.ai is an ai writing tool that specializes in seo optimized articles and they have here what's called a one-click blog post so i'm just gonna go ahead and click on the one click click blog post and right here it's asking for the main keyword so i'm just gonna go ahead and paste the main keyword there i'm gonna generate a title and it says meal prep for picky eaters stress-free tips and i'm going to go down here and i'm going to go ahead and choose the language english tone of voice i'm going to keep it informative and point of view i'm going to do first person and target country united states and right here article size i'm going to go ahead and keep it medium which is going to write 24 to 3600 words and for the model it's the gpt 3.5 plus the gpt 4 it gives you the options to use everything from turbo to 8k to 128k turbo i'm just going to go keep it here optimal quality and then i'm going to come down here for the media hub and i'm going to go ahead and um, add ai images i'm going to do four ai images i'm going to leave the style as none and it'll you can even choose the image size I'm going to add two YouTube videos. It's going to go ahead and embed the YouTube videos. So here's one of the pro tips and one of the nuggets. So when you come down to here, it wants keywords to include in the text. So SEO writing.ai has an NLP keyword generation. So it's really good. It will add the keywords. But like I said, this video is to show you exactly what I do. So I still have, uh, many credits inside of surfer seo as you can see for content editor i have 1500 here so i'm going to go ahead and click content editor and what this is going to do it's going to create an um let's go ahead meal meal prep for picky eaters i'm going to go ahead and click that one and i'm going to create a um content editor for this keyword. So I'm going to go ahead and create it. And what that's going to do, it's, um, I'm going to be able to use this, uh, to optimize the article that I'm writing. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and click right here, meal prep or picky eaters. And it's going to go ahead and, uh, open up the editor tool. What I want to do right now is just show you what I do. So right here, these are all the NLP, uh, keywords related to that main uh, keyword. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna come down and I'm gonna go ahead and copy this. And I'm basically gonna use Surfer SEO just to finish the last detail. But like I said, let me go ahead and show you the way I do it. So then I come back to SEO writing.ai and I go ahead and paste all of those NLP keywords uh, right here that are related. So now when it writes the article, it's gonna add these to the actual article. And then I come down right here and then the structure, I'm going to go ahead and hit question. So do we want a conclusion? Yes. We want tables. Yes. H3s list. Yes. Italics. We're going to keep all that. Yes. And then I'm going to come down right here and it's going to uh, connect to the web. So I'm going to put yes, and I'm not going to ask for any source links. So if you actually wanted source links, you can add them. And then this one, real time search results. So it's also going to, uh, search the SERPs to see the main articles. And then right here, when it comes down to the outline editor, I'm going to go ahead and enable outline editor. So I'm going to go ahead and hit this magic bag. And what it's going to do, it's going to create an SEO optimized outline. Okay. So I went ahead and created the outline. And as you can see right here, the H1, 
meal prep for picky eaters. I got the H2. I got H2, and then it adds all the H3s. So here's another pro tip. This is another nugget. What I like to do is I like to, oops, let me go ahead, and I like to copy this, this outline. And then what I like to do is I like to, to go over to chat GPT. And I'm going to come over here to chat GPT. And I'm going to go ahead and type the following. Okay, so what I went ahead and did is uh, here is an outline for a blog post called Meal Prep for Picky Eaters. What topics is this outline missing? So I went ahead and pasted the outline uh, because what's happening now, and you're going to hear more about it going forward um, when it comes to Google, and there's going to be something called information gain. So now not only do you want to have everything that the top articles have, you also want to add something new to the table. So they're not going to be ranking articles that are just exactly the same as the other one. So you have to provide more information, more value uh, to these articles. So what I want to do is I want to find what this article is missing. This article here was optimized based on the SERPs, but now it's, to, it's time to add something new to the article as well. So I'm going to go in and hit uh, the command and let's see what information we get. Okay, so ChatGPT came back and said, uh, your outline for meal prep for picky eaters is comprehensive and covers a wide range of essential topics to help readers navigate the challenges of meal prepping for picking, picky eaters. However, there are a few areas that you can expand or add to make the guide even more thorough. So it says understanding the reasons behind picky eater, role of nutritional education, dealing with dietary restriction and allergies, in, involving picky eaters in meal planning, feedback, adjustment process. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and grab these and I'm going to add them to the outline. And this, uh, before I use, I'm going to add them to the outline right here. So let me go ahead and do that and I'll be back in a second. Okay, so I went ahead and added uh, the suggestions from ChatGPT and I added them into the actual outline and I made some of them H2s and some of them H3s. And as you can see now that, you know, this is a uh, optimized article. It's not a cookie cutter article. It has all of the information plus um, new details re regarding the topic. So like that, this, this article will cover a wide range of uh, topics related to meal prep for picky eaters. So once the outline is there, I'm going to go ahead and you can publish it directly to your website. For right now, I'm just going to um, put no. And then also uh, you can connect your OpenAI API key. I'll leave that as no. And then I'm going to go ahead and go back to the top. And I'm going to go ahead and run it. So you sometimes you just double check, make sure everything's correct. So we're going to do a medium size article. Real quick, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the Surfer SEO and I just want to get an idea. So this one right here is um, word count anywhere from uh, 3,100 to 3,500. So we're on medium, which is 24 to 36. So more than likely, this is going to uh, run, um, write plenty of words. So I'll leave it at medium, and I'm going to go ahead and run it. Uh, and it's only going to take less than a minute to run write this article. It's already at 9%. In the meantime, I'm going to come back to chat GPT. I just want to show you something. Uh, let me go ahead and type it here. I'm going to go ahead and type in, please provide LSI keywords related to meal prep for picky eaters. So if you don't have Surfer SEO and you wanted to get more NLP LSI keywords, you can actually use chat GPT. This is another nugget. So I went ahead and provide uh, meal prep for picky eaters. I'm going to go ahead and run it. And another way you can do it is grab the actual keywords from chat GPT. So right here, it's going to provide LSI keywords. So this is easy real um, recipes for fussy eaters, healthy snacks for picky children. So these are another way that you can uh, get NLP or LSI keywords if you don't have Surface SEO. So let me just, I just wanted to show you that real quick. I'm going to go back here. I'm going to go ahead and click on the article, Meal Prep for Picky Eaters. It's done. So it ended up writing 5,715 words. 
Uh, you have the meal prep for picky eaters, stress free meals. So right away, we have the key takeaways. We have an AI image. And as it go down, it starts, you can see the outline. It has a list and it has a YouTube video. This one right here, I might change it for, uh, it has a correct title, but I would put a different YouTube video here. Um, I think because this section was getting kids involved in the kitchen. So it has uh, tables here. And as you can see, this article is, it comes, here's another AI image. And as you keep going down, even it has uh, quotations. Like I said, this is a, well, this is a helpful article. We have meal prep hacks. So that's a good YouTube video. And you go all the way down, as you can see, um, this article would be really hard to, to write or it would cost a lot to have somebody write an article like this. And as you can see in a matter of a minute, it was already ready. Here's another uh, AI image. And um, you can use stock images, you can use the AI images. And right here, finally the conclusion, and then it has a frequently asked questions. So first thing I do, like I said, these um, articles written by SEO writing.ai are well optimized. And I'll just show you um, how I test it. So I go ahead and copy it, and then I'll go back into the Surfer SEO. So if you're not familiar with Surfer SEO, I got other videos, but it basically um, will opt, you know, give you a content score for the the actual article. So I'm gonna go ahead and paste that article, and we're gonna see our content score uh, before we make any changes to it. Okay. All right. And I think uh, it's at 63. The average is 65. So without making any changes to this article, we got a content score of 63. And I believe one of the reasons why it's not higher is because we are actually over on the word count. We're over on the headings. We have more paragraphs. And then we just need to add more images. All right. So what I like to do at this point is, um, you know, at this point, this can be a really good article, but I'm just going to go ahead and up the game on this one real quick. And I'm going to come right here. Let me see where it's at. And Surfer SEO has insert terms. So I'm going to go ahead and insert terms. And it's going to add the remaining LSI and LP words to the article. So it's going to give me uh, suggestions here. So I'm going to be able to add this keyword here. So I'm going to accept it. And I'm just going to go ahead and go ahead and accept these uh, suggestions, add them into the article. And you can, like I said, read through and make sure it sounds correct. But for right now, like I said, I'm just adding them. And I'm gonna go back up and I'm gonna see the new content score. I'm gonna go ahead and save it. And now we have a content score of 83. So the average is 65, uh, excuse me, 80. It changed to 80 now, I think because of the images. And the top score is 69. So if I go into here, oops, let me go into here. These are the articles that Surfer SEO is referencing. So as you can see right here, the the tops are one of the top spots. It a score of 64, 64. So all these are in the 60s. And as you can see, the article that was now optimized at 80. I'm gonna go back up. And as you can see, I would now I would copy this and and add it to the to my WordPress website. So that is my exact steps that I use to write helpful high quality SEO optimized articles. I'm going to go ahead and put a link in the description for SEO writing.ai. Uh, you really just need this tool, but if you're, uh, you can also use SC surfer SEO to uh, do this next step. But like I said, I just wanted to show you the exact steps that I use. Um, and you can also use chat GPT if you don't have surfer SEO. Um, but again, I'll leave a link in the description for 
uh, these tools. If you're interested, I hope this video was helpful. And if it was, please do me a favor, hit that like, subscribe. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments and I will see you in the next video. And if you want more information about SEO writing.ai, go ahead and check out this video here and I'll see you next time.